I'm at Fleet Feet in New York City and we're gonna be going over my top five running shoes for 2024. Being an avid runner for the last six years, I know how important it is to have good running sneakers, whether you're a casual runner like me or an extreme endurance runner like Christian. So we're really lucky to have Christian here today because Christian has been in the retail shoe game for about six years now. He's run marathons before and he's actually prepping for a hundred mile race. So he's gonna be diving into the details of these different shoes. So Christian, how are you? Is there anything else you wanna add? I've been doing retail for like about six years, training for my first hundred miler coming up uh, as well as filming for a documentary for it as well too. And we're saving the best shoe for last, so make sure you stay to the end. The first shoe we'd pick would technically be the Ghost 15 from Brooks. Now this is a daily trainer. This is good for a little bit of everything. So let's say if you want to train for a marathon, you want to train for a 5K, or let's say you even go to Barry's boot camp. This shoe is made for you. Reason why the foam is slightly dense and soft because the DNA loft in here. With this shoe, it feels good and also comfortable for those long days. That's the first pick. So was there something that actually shows with a different type of like with the lines or something yep. like that. Can you tell me so, about that? Yeah, so this right here is the neutral model. If you needed a stability shoe, we would go for the adrenaline. Now this one right here has a guide rail system. So the best way to explain it is like this. Things you fall as a bowling ball, the guide rails were like bumpers. If you pronate or supernate, it's gonna keep you in lane no matter which way your foot moves. Second pick we would pick would be the Clifton 9 from Hoka. Now with this one, this has something called a meta rocker. What that means is that you're gonna sit inside the sole system, so it offers more structural support as well as offer more cushioning. So let's say if you're someone who just needs a little bit more cushioning for those longer runs, just to have a little bit more fun and a little bit more bounce, that's when the Clifton 9 comes in. Also, if you're 5'10 like me, you can be six foot in these. So our third pick right here is gonna be the New Balance 880. And with this one, what makes it a little bit more different is a fresh foam technology. So this foam itself is like memory foam. The more you wear it, the more it conforms to your foot and it's extremely lightweight because they inject air in the shoe. So what's interesting about this, I wasn't expecting you to pick a New Balance. Like what's the history behind that and why'd you choose this like specifically? So they've been a running shoe brand since 1906. So they've been around for a long time. Now they've been focusing on running shoes since day one. Back in the day, people used to thought a harder shoe would be better for running. Not the case as much anymore. People are realizing that we need a softer shoe to save your joints for longer runs. Our fourth pick right here is the Nimbus 26. Now this shoe is more designed to be like your long run shoe, a recovery shoe basically. So let's say you're putting in a lot more mileage, you're training for that half or that marathon, this is the shoe for you. Or if you have really bad joint problems. This one has a little bit more bells and whistles. With this right here, as pure gel. What it is is basically a honeycomb pattern gel in the heel, so it takes up a lot more shock. FF Blast, so it makes it a lot more responsive, and a gusseted tongue, so it has a better fit. And the foam itself is not too hard, but it's a little firm as well, too. That's great, because I used to wear an A6 Gel Kyona before, and even though it's a different model than this, mm -hmm. it was like the workhorse of my shoes. It lasted over a year of my running. For me, that was really impressive, because most of the shoes I work with and mm -hmm. run with usually last like six months or less. And last but not least, if you're a hardcore runner and you want to break some personal bests, this is a shoe that you want to pay attention to. So this right here is the Endorphins Pro. The Endorphins Pro 4, basically. This is the newer one on the model. This is the category of a super shoe or a race day shoe. So this right here is fully carbon plated. How it's designed is basically lightweight and super responsive. But the best part about this shoe, it's also extremely durable too. So if you're looking for a race day shoe that give you that longer last, and you don't want to die between 200 miles, this is a shoe to pick up. This shoe is gonna last, and this shoe is definitely gonna make you go fast. So these are our top shoes. So if you're a casual runner like me, or me actually trying to get into more of the competitive side with the sock and knee, you really can't go wrong with any of these shoes, right? Yep. So if you wanna check out a Fleet Feet, Definitely, you know where to go now. They're all across the country, and hopefully you can meet someone as good as Christian to help you find the specific shoe that's right for you.